Oh, hello. hello. It's wonderful, It's wonderful to meet you. you. I wasn't I was expecting, expecting to see to you see so you soon. Ah, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> the dating, the dating app. App. <laughs> I, was I was certainly so excited, excited when I got, when I got matched, matched with you. Ah, oh. <laughs> I read your I read profile. Your profile. It seems we'll be a good match. match. I must must admit, 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 I was a bit 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 overly overly excited excited to meet you. you. (laughs) I thought, 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 maybe maybe I could could sneak into your dream. dream, dream, dream. Give you you a happy, happy, good good night night, night, rest rest, 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 before we meet. meet. But then I thought, thought, that might be a little intrusive. Oh, oh yes. yes. My, My whole thing does, does relate, relate to dreams, to dreams. and cuddles. <laughs> My whole My body, body is soft. Is soft, 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 soft. Do, you Do you want to want feel? To feel? <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead. My claws, My claws aren't sharp. Well, 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 not unless I need I them need to be. To be. <laughs> There we are. (laughs) See how squishy they are? It's like they're filled with stuffing, right? You'd be surprised to know this is all flesh. (laughs) Unique, is it not? Feel free to touch as long as you'd like. Maybe you'd like to come over here. (laughs) I'm all soft. Besides, Besides, you look look so so tired. tired. Maybe Maybe I should have have intruded on your dreams. dreams. Oh, come come now. now. I can get get to know know you while you're resting resting on my lap. Trust Trust me. me. No No one is going to look at us. (laughs) It's kind of my thing, you know. know. To be loving, loving, nurturing. Everyone, Everyone will, think will think it's completely, completely normal, normal for me to do this. this, this, this. Perhaps, Perhaps you'll even you'll make, make a couple others jealous. Hmm. <laughs> would you, would like, you that? like that? Oh, there, there we are. are. I, knew I knew you knew couldn't you resist. resist. <laughs> no one no really, really can. can. I'm just I'm gonna just cut your hair, hair, okay? <laughs> Then you can tell me all about yourself, what your interests are, if you're going to school, (laughs) what dreams you have, or are you an insomniac? Oh, I thought so. (laughs) Poor little insomniac. It is my job to fix that, you know. To make make sure sure that you you get all the good rest rest you deserve. deserve. Happy Happy dreams. dreams. And And once you wake wake up, up, you'll feel refreshed. refreshed. Like a new new person person in time. time. (laughs) Oh no. no. I won't tamper tamper too much. Just Just make it to where all all your stress, stress, all your your worries, worries, go away. away. (laughs) Isn't that nice? nice? Wouldn't that that be splendid? splendid? I can assure assure you, nothing nothing bad bad will happen to you when I'm around. around. You're going going to be be safe, safe, secure. secure. Protect it. <laughs> You'll never You'll have, have to worry, worry about a thing. thing. And, and even, even if, if life, life starts, starts stressing, stressing you out, out I'll, be I'll be there to just, just melt, melt it away. It away. Like, like it never even happened. happened. However, However, I want I to want get to get know to you a little know better, better first, first. Before, before I... I Say, 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 take you to dream. 
<laughs> so, 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 as I as mentioned I before, before, do you have any hobbies? Oh, that's such a nice, a nice one. one. Tell me Tell more me about, about it. it. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, really? really? <laughs> It's very, it's very cute. cute. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've met I've others, others with that hobby as well. You humans, humans can find a trip in, in such simple things. things. But that's but what that's makes what you makes so amazing. amazing. The littlest, the littlest thing, thing can make you smile. smile. <laughs> I like your smile. smile. It's beautiful. <laughs> and your, and your eyes, eyes are gorgeous as well. And it's such a shame that I want to close them and help you sleep. A full eight hours rest. But to see you wake up, feeling your friend, and seeing those beautiful eyes again, might just be worth it. <laughs> no. Do you have any music you like listening to? Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> I see. I don't think I've heard that before. I haven't heard many human music before. Just lullabies, mostly. Nursery rhymes. Perhaps, Perhaps you can show me sometime. Some I'd, like I'd like to get to, to know to more human music. music. <laughs> Even, Even if it is a little bit more energetic than what I'm used to. Oh no, no I, don't I don't mind. mind. I just I want just to get to know you better. better. <laughs> We've, talked We've talked about, about hobbies, hobbies, music. music. What other what things do you Well, I don't, I don't get, get to get interact to much with humans in my realm. realm. Yes. yes. <laughs> I, don't I don't live, live in, this in this realm. realm. No. no. It is a it separate, is a separate realm. realm. You see, there's, there's the underground. The underground. That's where That's all your demons, demons and higher realms live. live. And then there is mine. Most people Most call it the lullaby, lullaby realm. realm. Some, Some call it the night realm. realm. Others, Others say it's the dream realm. realm. <laughs> I don't mind which one you use. Oh, oh please. please. Do not, Do not worry. worry. I am fine with long distance, distance, but if you prefer, if you prefer I could I stay, could with, stay you. with you. <laughs> I can't I cook very well. well. As I am As not I familiar with humanity's food. But I can, but I can learn. learn, learn. Or, or you could come, come to my realm. Then be then pampered, pampered all day. Let go, Let go of these, of these silly, silly human things. things. We, have we have stores and food. food. We, have we have virtually everything, everything that the human realm does. does. No stress. no stress. No money. Everyone, Everyone judges. judges. Exists. Yes. And they're oh, happy. happy. Oh, oh, so happy. <laughs> it's relaxing, it's relaxing really. really. You get to you float get to on clouds, clouds and play. And play. You won't you be, the, be first the first human, human to be there. To be there. My friends, My friends. They, themselves they themselves have human, have human lovers. lovers. It is why, it is why I, joined I joined the program. The program. I, saw I saw how, how happy, happy they were. They were. And, I and I wanted a piece, piece of that happiness as well. As well. I, hope I hope you are the human, human that can provide that, that happiness. happiness. For, for I, I, for I, I am willing. Provide happiness to you as well. 
<laughs> As I said, even if we do have to stay in the human realm, I won't mind much. Being able to take care of you after a long, stressful day, that sounds just as good as us playing in the clouds. However, if you are interested in seeing my realm, I can always take you there, show you what it's about, and you can make a decision from there. I won't force you to go either way. Matter of fact, there are some other humans there I think that would want to talk to you as well. You can get the human experience on how it is living in my realm. And then, perhaps I can find some monsters here to talk about how it would be living in this realm instead. Please, do not worry about it. Again, I will be happy either way. As long as I get to take care of you, I will be contented. I do have one condition, if that's all right with you. If we start being each other's love, you will be mine and mine alone. I will have enough love for you to compete over a thousand other monsters. You will be mine. Don't worry. The people in my realm know not to mess with what belongs to others. <laughs> if I have to carry you around, just to prove that you are mine. I will have no qualms in doing so. That is the one difference between this realm and my realm. In the human realm, some people get the audacity to try and take what doesn't belong to them. Now, I am not worried, for I know that you and I have a special connection. However, other people won't be aware of that. I can mark you. Yes, don't worry, it won't hurt. It's just a little seal. Showing that you are mine and mine alone. <laughs> when you fall asleep in my arms. And we talk in each other's dreams. The seal will appear. <laughs> Don't worry. You can have the seal wherever you'd like it. Yes, you get to choose. Whether it is on your cheek. Your abdomen, your legs, you get to choose that, but the seal will remain no matter what. And then, if someone tries to get a little bit too close, the seal will go on, and I will appear. Don't worry, I'm not a fan of hurting others, not physically anyway. Well, sometimes, people just don't know. I like to give them the benefit of the doubt. So I'll show up, give you a lot of kisses. And then, if they still try and persist, and try to take what is mine, let's just say they won't for very much longer. I can provide the sweetest of dreams, or the most terrifying of nightmares. Oh no, don't worry. <laughs> it's nothing against you. 
nothing at all. You're going to be safe. You're going to be happy. You're going to be fun. You are my everything. I should have mentioned this when we met. But there is a spiritual connection we have. Don't you know? The dating app only matches those who are made for each other. <laughs> when you went on this date, you weren't meeting just a random monster. You were meeting your future wife. And I promise, I'll take my duties very, very seriously. <laughs> now come, come cutie. cutie, just, just rest, rest on me, my promise, the, the seal will be painless, and, and you will have, have such, such a good dream, dream. rest That's baby bird, you can, you take, can flight take flight in the morning, morning. <laughs> I'll, take I'll take you to my realm, and we'll, and we'll see, see if you're happier there. there. Oh yes, oh, yes. If, we're if we're in my realm, I won't I have, won't to, have be to be nearly as protected. protected. Again, Again, everyone, everyone there knows, knows not, not to, to take, take what isn't there. You'll have, You'll so, have so many, many humans, humans to play with. with. <laughs> It'll, be, It'll be fun. You'll, You'll see. see. But please, but please don't, don't worry. worry. At least not yet. yet. Go, go to bed. See, See my glasses. They're going, They're to, going help to help you get a nice, nice long, long sleep. sleep. Just take Just deep breaths in. And out. And then. You'll sleep. sleep. Breathe the cloud in, and out. Oh my, you really have been needing sleep. Oh my poor, poor, poor human. There we go. I can tell you're getting sleepy. Close those heavy eyes, those tired, tired eyes, and get some rest with me. Good night. <laughs> I'm going to kiss you, and then you're going to fall asleep. It'll make It'll this a lot easier. Ready, Ready for your for good night kiss.
supposed to be a date, correct? I don't know much about human affairs, but I know that on a date you aren't supposed to eat your presumably future partner. I don't think I'd do that to you anyway, 
It is a horrible way to go. <laughs> no, I don't do it willingly. As mentioned before, I don't do anything willingly. I don't like doing that. If, again, I am allowed to speak my mind. I grab magic from humans, then transfer them to, well, I'm not sure who, or it could even be a what, but ever since I was a child, that was my task, always to be a slave, always to be wanting more, but never allowed to have it. I hope this doesn't scare you away. It would be a shame. It is simply what I was made for. Nothing else. I have no malicious intent of humanity. I do not very much care for humanity. But I do not hate them, and I do not hate you. <laughs> Apologies. What did you just say? Free me. Oh, human. If there was a way to free me, I would have done it long ago. Mm -hmm. You think that you can help? Is that a monster book? Where would a human like you get something like that? Ah, you are also one of those humans. An adventure. Are you a part of the game? Hmm. I see. You just finished your journey. So you disbanded. And now you are looking for love. I am sorry that I was the first one you met. You see, I understand an emotionless creature as myself. One that is to be pitied isn't exactly a choice for me. You are certain I'm wrong? Perhaps so. What do you have planned? I see. I didn't know that that book had a place for my guide. What is that line say? Ah, so if we go to the spring of life and you kiss me there, I will be free. Or, it has to be a kiss of true love, though. Do you love me? That is impossible. We just met. You feel a connection? So this isn't the first time we've met. On your adventure, I was there. I apologize. I was probably ordered to do something, so I have no recollection of it. Ah, 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 I was I ordered was to protect a bounty, and, and you, you somehow, somehow, made a deal, deal with whatever I, I serve, 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 to allow, allow me, me to fly, fly off without injury. We, we talked. Talk, talk, talk. Ah. ah, ah. 
It must have been a time where I was allowed to express my emotion. You've been searching for me ever since. What we shared that night was magical to you. I wish I could remember it. It sounds like it was happy. It sounds like I would have wanted to go with you. That is probably the reason why the thing I saw took away those memories. Perhaps, and this might be silly of me to say, perhaps once we free me, I will regain those memories. But even if not, a part of me, maybe the part of me that met you before, is longing to create new memories with you. I can't imagine that I would feel that if I had met you before. Please, let us escape this place. I want to feel you. I want to know why this little part of it is yearning for you, is calling out for me to join you. Whoever controls me is not watching right now. We could easily slip away. Yes, let us depart. So, this is the waterfall. The place where we have to kiss. Are you sure you want to do this? Because if I awake and I have free will, I'm not sure if I will know what to do with myself. Are you prepared to be there for me? To help me? To love me? You are wonder. I suppose now we can. Adventurer, you're back. I'm back. You did it. You really did it. You, you, you found a way to free me. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Come here. It's been, it's been, it's been. Well, 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 I've never I've really never been allowed to feel emotions like this. Not since the last time I met you. Oh, I hope I wasn't so cold to you, darling. Thank you for never giving up on me. Thank you so much. But, but, what if, what if they figure out I'm not under their control anymore? Well, I highly doubt they'd care if one of us goes. But what if they know that you did it? They might come after you. Huh? You don't care? As long as we're together, that's, that's all that matters to you. Oh, darling. Oh, darling, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, how about we go on that date, huh? But this time, it'll be a real date. Not just one where you happen to find me again. <laughs> Maybe we can get everyone together again. And this time, go on a proper adventure together. <laughs> I can't wait. To spend so, so many so nights with you. you. Create so, 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 so many so new memories. memories.
Uh, <laughs> I can see the sun rising. I need to I need go to inside. inside. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Call your friend. <laughs> Let's start a brand new adventure where we can love freely and not have to worry about anything. <laughs> I love you, Dad. I'll see you soon. Oh my goodness, no way, you're human, I didn't think I'd actually get to meet one. (laughs) You see, I'm slime. Well, my uh, ancestors weren't very kind to humans, I apologize for that. (laughs) They were uh, jealous of your... Human forms. Oh no, I'm not. I like being kind of jealous. <laughs> but I do find a fascination with humans. Oh, because you're so cute and fleshy. Can I touch your cheeks? Oh my goodness. So cute. Oh, please forgive me. I can't help myself. A real life human? Oh, I mean, I've seen plenty of humans before. But I've never really gotten up close and personal. (laughs) Oh, I should mention, I'm not really like a normal slime. No, I was made in a lab. Mm Mm-hmm. You see, slimes used to procreate naturally, but nowadays, some of us are created via labs. Humans being curious about us, and accidentally creating life. Again, I've met a plenty of humans, but I've never been able to get close. I've never been able to touch their hands, look into those gorgeous eyes. You are something completely different. Something I've never seen before. Oh no, please don't mind me. I just want to stare at you all day. Is that such a shame? (laughs) But please, go on. Keep talking. What do you do for work? Oh, really? I've never seen that before. Ah. And what about your hobbies? What does a human like you do? Hmm? Well, I've never heard of that either. Ah, there's so much I need to learn. I wonder if you'd be willing to teach me. Yes, live a day in your life. I'd just follow you around. See what you're doing. You could teach me. Maybe I could help. Oh, don't worry about others. They won't mind that I'm there. Well, that's the good thing about being a slime, isn't it? The one good thing I can think about. We're very, very persuasive. Yes, a hypnotic quality, they said. Oh no, I wouldn't use it on you. Why would I ever use it on you? (laughs) We're dating, right? I would never use it on my mate. Oh, silly. That's what this program is. For humans and monsters to finally be one. To get to know each other. 
get to love each other? What could be better? Hmm? Well, the way that monsters choose a mate is they feel a connection. And I, I definitely feel a connection to you. Those beautiful eyes. That pretty hair. <laughs> the way that you blush. I didn't know humans could turn different colors. You know, I was locked away for a good long while. Humans are afraid of what they don't know. When I was created, they were so scared of me. All I wanted was to care about them. After all, they were kind of like my parents, you know? They didn't see it that way. Well, all except one scientist. They thought it was cruel that they were keeping me locked away. That they were fearful of the unknown. So they freed me. And they raised me as their own. But yet, I figured out soon enough that they themselves weren't human. I was so excited that finally a human could care about me, but I'm not going to complain too much. They are a wonderful parent to me. Maybe you could meet them soon. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. I kind of lost the point of my story for a little bit. What I'm saying is, I know that humans fear the unknown. They fear the future. They fear what they do not understand. But I am here to help guide you through it. To help you understand how I feel. I've met plenty of monsters. Many of them who wanted to date me, but I never felt the same back. You, on the other hand, you are different. I feel at home with you. Suddenly, all the pieces of the puzzle finally fit. You were my missing piece. I know you were. And now I finally found you. And we can be happy. Oh, I see. Are you scared of love? True love? Pure love like this? Because you've gotten your heart broken before? Oh, you poor thing. I'm so sorry. You didn't deserve that. I can only imagine how horrible that heartbreak felt. Come here. I promise I won't absorb you. There we go. Shh, shh, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> I promise. When I say I love you, and that I feel a connection, I mean it. I'm not lying. Maybe, maybe I can mind meld with you. Yeah, then you'll understand how I truly feel. You'll know that I don't want to hurt you in the slightest. And I want to live a long, happy life with you. I want to have a family with you. A big family. And that I want to grow old together. I love you. Shh. Stay still, okay? I'm gonna do what I need to to help you understand how I feel. It's a painless process. Not only that, but we'll be connected for life. Finally. <laughs> now, shh. Just let me do this, okay? 
There we go. There we go. See, it's not that bad. I'm just slowly mind melting with you. Our hearts will be one. Our minds will be one. We will be one. <laughs> I know this isn't how you expected the night to go. But I expected it to go this way. I knew as soon as we matched that you were the one for me. It sounds crazy, but we monsters, we just know. We know, and we would do anything, anything at all, to keep that love, to get it, to protect it. And I would do anything for you, I really would, anything at all. Even the most horrid things. Because I love you. It is a love that is so true. That it can almost be seen as obsession. It rides the line. But isn't that what makes it perfect? Are you starting to understand now? Are you starting to feel? My emotions towards you. Finally. There we are. <laughs> Can you feel the love coursing through your veins? How lucky you are. How much I adore you. Can you feel it? <laughs> you can? Oh, that's wonderful. Soon our mind melting will be complete. And not only will you fully understand that you'll be happy as well. You'll be so giddy. Giddy to be mine. And I yours. It'll be perfect. You will be perfect. I will be perfect. We will finally have each other. We will finally be one. Oh my dear, how I've waited for this moment. To find someone who could understand me. Who could love me, despite all my flaws. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna let anyone else hurt you. And then, I'll take you back to my place. be safe, and you'll be happy, and then we can go to your place. <laughs> I won't keep you from your work, or your job, or your friends, your family. I'm not cruel. All I will ever ask for is your love. That is all I want. <laughs> your attention is great, too. But I understand you have other obligations. So I won't pester you too much. <laughs> Imagine the kind of dates we can go on together. Imagine the happiness we can feel. Oh, our future is going to be so terrific. How many children do you want? Oh, it doesn't matter. I can produce children on my own if you'd like. I just wanted to know. How many would you like? <laughs> I want as many as I can. I wonder how they'll look. I hope they have your eyes. Oh, and your smile. <laughs> Are you feeling better? The mind melting is now completed. <laughs> Does your head hurt? I hope 
I'm not taking up too much space in there. There we are. <laughs> you are one now. Isn't that great? Oh, you poor thing. Maybe I should have uh, waited to mind meld with you. I might have gotten a little overexcited. Can you just... Oh. The... Can you feel my love? Oh, at least it worked. I'm happy about that. I'm sorry. I just... I couldn't wait any longer. I knew that we were meant to be, and... You humans, you take a long time to go into something. I just needed... Needed us to be one. I apologize. Hmm? You don't want me to apologize? <laughs> You're just... Glad you understand. Oh, my sweet. <laughs> However, you look quite tired. Yes, I think you need some rest. Here, let me carry you to my house, okay? We can rest there. <laughs> and then when you get to feeling better, we can do whatever you want. And don't forget, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I love you. Let's get going now. <laughs> I have a feeling that you don't want to wait any longer either. Turn away. Stop. Go back. Leave. Turn away. Before it's too late. Ah, oh, hello there. I'd like to personally thank you for coming to such a remote location for our date. It's not every day that a human such as yourself is so naive. I'm lucky I got you now, aren't I? Uh-uh-uh. Please be quiet. Your screaming is annoying, to say the least. <laughs> you can struggle all you'd like, but you're in my web. <laughs> and I'm not sure if you've noticed or not, but my web isn't like my brethren's web. Mine is... Royal, which means no matter how much you struggle, no matter if you use a sharp object to try and cut it, you won't escape. That is the joy of being queen. I have enhanced abilities like that. Hmm. Well. At first, I was just going to eat you, consume you to my own pleasure. Suck the very essence of your soul until there is nothing but a husk of a human left. <laughs> oh no, not in that way. In a more, you'd be deceased way. You see, I joined that dating app to find the perfect prey. A prey that would sustain me for thousands of years. For I have been running low on some magic recently. And I needed a poor, innocent human to make sure that I don't lose any of my abilities. I have a reputation to maintain. I can't just go on willy-nilly eating humans. I have to 
to find ones that are, how do you say, built differently? I need a human like you. However, you came as prey, but now that I look at you, you're too cute to be an empty husk. Consider this your lucky day. You get to live another day. And the day after that. And hopefully for a very, very long time. You see, now that I have a very good look at you, I have decided that you're going to rule by my side. Whatever title you want, I don't care either way. You'll be my little plaything. My royal plaything. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> oh no. Once again, you aren't going anywhere. The second you decided to step into this forest, your fate was sealed. I could still eat you if you'd prefer that. But what a waste of an attractive human. Think about it. You would rule by my side. Well, <laughs> you wouldn't have any opinions. And you certainly would not be my equal. But you'd get to sit on my lap. You'd get all the luxuries you desire. You'd never have to work a day in your life. You can eat until you want to pop. And then eat even more after that. You want to play video games all day? Go ahead. You want someone to clean up after you? That's what the servants are for. <laughs> Your every need would be taken care of. And the only thing I ask in return is your companion. When I call you, you will answer. If I beckon you, you will answer. Whatever I want, you'll do. Those are the terms and conditions, and they're non-negotiable. I can assure you, the pros heavily outweigh the cons. After all, you humans are so naturally lazy. Oh no, that's not a bad thing at all. It makes this a lot easier, actually. Though, I know you humans value your freedom. I can give you some freedom. Again, you can do whatever you want, as long as I do not summon you. Whatever you want, indeed. Besides run away. Besides plotting against me. Those two things are off limits. Any of your other desires? Go ahead. Fulfill them. My kingdom runs on corruption. So whatever you need, I'm sure we have it. Mm. Of course I'll lavish you in affection. Why wouldn't I? You're so cute. If I didn't find you worthy of my affection, you wouldn't be here right now. 
As I said before, you can sit on my lap whenever you need. Be tangled up in my web whenever you want. Get all my kisses whenever you feel like it. There's no need to be upset. Because I am going to care for you in my own special little way. I don't offer just anyone to rule by my side. You have been given a gift. A gift of love. It is a twisted, sick love, but a love nonetheless. And who knows Maybe you're the human that will change my cold, dead heart and warm it up again to where I am just a normal spider, not such a dominating queen. <laughs> but in the meantime, you are mine. And I'm going to lavish you in my affections, in my own special kind of love. How about we get started, huh? Would you like a kiss from your queen? Just a little one. I won't pressure you into doing anything you want comfortable. I may be cold-hearted, but I'm no monster. A kiss is fine. Oh, wonderful. How many do you desire? <laughs> I can grant that. My, my, what a lovely human. Where did you learn to kiss like that? <laughs> oh no, do not worry. I'm not the jealous type. Because there will be no other competitors. There will only be me. No reason to be jealous if there's no competition. No one will dare to get close to you. Not when, well, not when I mark you. I'll wait till our wedding night to mark you the way I need to. <laughs> it's just a simple bite. One bite and a couple shots of venom. Oh no, don't worry. It won't harm you. No, no. <laughs> it'll course through your veins, and it'll make a beautiful mark. That way everyone can see, and more importantly, they can sense that you are already spoken for. After all, we wouldn't want to give anyone the wrong impression that you are still looking for love. Oh, the dating app? <laughs> Don't worry. Your profile is already deleted. Ah, oh, yes, and your family and friends. They can come to our wedding if you'd like. Oh, don't worry. We'll feed them the same lies that every monster feeds their victims. I mean, lovers, families. 
I'll tell them, and my people will tell them, that we found love, and that you decided to stay here. We'll write letters and show them how much we're in love. <laughs> and children? Are you worried about that? My dear, we're magic. There are multiple ways to have children now. You need not worry about any of that. Please stop fretting. We monsters have done this for centuries. It's a foolproof plan and it always ends the same. With the lovers eventually realizing that this truly was the life they wanted all along. Shh. It may take some time. But I live tens of thousands of years anyway. I have plenty of time to wait. Now, I'm going to have my servants tie this web up. After all, you need to come to my kingdom. And soon to be our kingdom. <laughs> we have a wedding to attend. <laughs> Don't worry, everything is going to work out just the way it needs to be. I look forward to seeing you at the ceremony, my love. <laughs> I knew that would be the reaction to seeing me. Haven't you ever met an undead undead? <laughs> yes, it is very strange. It's hard to believe that just a couple thousand years ago, I was just like you. Human. Oh no, I didn't look like this. I mean, I thought it would be obvious that I didn't look like this. Oh no, it is not makeup at all. <laughs> A small part of me wishes it was. Nope, what you are seeing is 100% real. <laughs> yes, and I was human like you, as I said before. <laughs> I'll let you get over the initial shock before I explain myself. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Everything's fine. I don't have a hankering for brains or flesh. <laughs> or blood, for that matter. You see, when you're a vampire that got turned into a zombie, it kind of nullifies each effect. Two negatives make a positive kind of thing. Well, are you calm enough now so I can explain myself? There we are. <laughs> Here, how about you have this? It's just a cup of tea. Really, you need to relax. As I said before, I have no cravings. It's actually quite the sad story. But I feel I owe it to you because of my strange appearance. <laughs> Please, don't worry. I don't take offense. If I took offense for everyone that saw me and screamed, ran away, or just in general looked uncomfortable, I'd be very upset all the time. You learn to live with it. Now drink up while I go and tell my story. I was about 20 to 22. I don't really remember it was thousands of years ago. It was when monsters weren't as uh, personable with humans. Well, that's putting it lightly, but we won't get into what they were actually doing. And I'm sure you've read about it in your history books. Well, 
I was out one night. I don't quite remember what I was doing. I think I was trying to visit someone. All I know is that someone was sick and I really cared for them. It's a shame I can't even remember who it is. But anyway, <laughs> I was bit and then turned the same night. It was shocking, to say the least. I could not return home, of course. Again, this was back in the day before monsters were truly accepted in society. I mean, even today, monsters like myself aren't accepted, but more so back in the day. <laughs> If my family found out that I had been turned into a vampire, let's just say I wouldn't have been around much longer. Nonetheless, I lived thousands of years upon thousands of years. As a vampire, it was hard to really grasp at first. You can't be out in the sunlight. You have this horrible thirst that just can't be quenched sometimes. And then the worst of all, Garlic. The smell used to make me want to throw up. Not anymore. <laughs> and that's a good thing because I love garlic. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you might be wondering how I got the zombie potch. After all, if a vampire dies, it's a well-known fact that we just turn into dust. And then get washed away by the wind. Very poetic ending, you know? But there are these people. Scientists, if you can even call them that. That said that they found a cure for vampirism. A little known fact, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Well, I went, of course. I would have done anything to be human again. And they did some experiments. Little did I know they weren't experiments to turn me human, but to mash two monsters together. They promised me they'd cure my bloodlust. And that they did. That they did. Half zombie. You'd think it would make me even crazier, but... Somehow when they clashed. I'm virtually human, but I look like this. I still have my fangs, and I can still turn into a bat every once in a while, but that's not what I wanted. Well, clearly I escaped that area and I ran away. They turned me into something else. A creature that has never been created before. Or, if they have, we haven't heard about them. I'm such an anomaly that people are afraid to get near me. Well, again, I'm virtually human. I can go out in the sun again. I can eat garlic. I can do anything. I just have enhanced abilities now. And green skin on some parts. I wish I could say it was a part of who I am and I'm proud of it, but if I could go back, I would make sure I never entered that place with those horrible people. I can handle not being in the sun. I can handle that. I, I can't know this. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is a pretty weird day now. I figured I should let you know so you aren't afraid of me, though I understand that you probably aren't interested in me. No, no, it's all right. I'm used to being rejected. It's pretty common now. Hmm? <laughs> you want to get to know me more? Really? That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. 
Um, what part of my history do you want to know? You don't want to know my history? Hobbies? You want to know what I like to do? Really? Then I really, really enjoy watching the sunset. And sunrise, for that matter. I went without it for so long, and even though I'm not happy about my current situation, it is beautiful to once again see all the reds, the maroons, the oranges, and sometimes pink. It is gorgeous. Hmm? <laughs> yes. I've never seen anything more beautiful. You learn to appreciate little things like this when you've been without it for so long. When the oranges blend in with the black of the night and you can see the stars twinkling. The sunrise and sunset are so... quick. It's over before you know it. Perhaps that's what makes it so special. I wish I was a good painter. <laughs> because then I could capture the moment. See that beautiful, beautiful sunrise every single day. Hanging up in my room. It truly is the most beautiful thing out there. Hmm? <laughs> you think there's something more beautiful? Well, go on. Enlighten me. <laughs> me? You think I'm the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Well, <laughs> dare I say, that was smooth, but I don't entirely believe you. Hmm? You're a painter. <laughs> so you have an eye for beautiful things, then? You want to paint me? <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Because you really do think I'm... <sighs> How? Never in my day I ever thought that someone would say that. And truly mean it. You want to paint me? You really do? <laughs> I can be your muse if you'd like. I can assure you that none of your clients have ever seen something like me. Perhaps this could be beneficial for both of us. And quite frankly, I'd like to get to know you better. Well, you know a lot about me, but the mysterious painter I know nothing about. Besides, you're really cute. <laughs> so how's about it? Hmm. Well, I don't sleep. You can paint me all night long. I'll be your muse until you find something that you like. We can be a team. <laughs> or maybe more, if... You'd like. Yes, that will come later, won't it? For now, we'll be the painter and his muse. <laughs> I'll pay for tonight's date. Oh no, do not worry. <laughs> I am, well, let's say I'm not hurting for money. And quite frankly, I want to get out of here as fast as we can. Imagine me being painted. I haven't seen myself in thousands of years. This will be amazing. Perhaps you are right. Perhaps that I am beautiful and everyone that was saying that I wasn't was just scared of the unknown. 
You would help me so much, my painter. Now please, <laughs> let us carry on. Well, <laughs> I know that everyone else calls me a freakish monster. But if you consider me beautiful, beautiful enough to paint, perhaps it was my own insecurities. <laughs> yes, I, I haven't been able to see myself. I still have some of those vampiric qualities. I've just assumed this entire time that I've been horribly unattractive because of how everyone screams. But you didn't. And you stayed. So forgive me for being a little impatient. Here. Take my hand. <laughs> I can still fly. I told you that earlier, did I not? <laughs> Someone like you deserves special treatment. I bet you've never seen the city from up high, have you? The twinkling lights, the clouds just above you, feeling the air on your skin. Freedom, Mama. <laughs> I promise, only a fool would drop someone like you. So what do you say? Can I take you on a scenic route to your house? We can just stay silent, or we can talk. It truly doesn't matter to me. The only thing I want is to be with you. <laughs> Whether I'm your muse or your lover, or both, let's just see where the night takes us. Ah, welcome. Here, your date is waiting for you. <laughs> Susan, this could either go really good or really badly. Please prepare for either option. Why, hello there. <laughs> what is a cutie like you? in a place like this. Oh no, don't be afraid, little one. I'm here now, and I can give you the time of your life. <laughs> don't be afraid. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> oh, you humans. You look so cute when you're afraid. Oh, I can just breathe in the fear. <laughs> shh, shh. I'm not going to hurt you. I don't plan on it anyway. I was surprised when I matched with you. Well, you're not usually my type, but then again, you are human. <laughs> don't worry. I always like to try something new. I'm versatile like that. You see, I'm a love succubi. It's a special form of succubus. Oh no. <laughs> we like to train the love out of people. Anything, really. It's just in my nature to do so. You're going to fall head over heels for me. I can already tell. And then I'll take that love and use it to fuel my own powers. How sweet, right? What a beautiful exchange. Don't worry, it won't hurt. I couldn't imagine breaking someone like yours heart. I would never do that. If I broke your heart, then it would be all for naught. I'm gonna take such good care of you. You're gonna feel so complete. I'll make sure that there's no suffering involved whatsoever. 
You deserve better than that. <laughs> you think you can resist my charms? How cute. Just because I'm open about my intentions in the beginning doesn't mean that you're going to be able to resist me. <laughs> Your determination is cute, but I've managed to make a mind player fall in love with me. Not only that, but I got a Valkyrie to fall in love with me as well. <laughs> Do you want me to continue? Because there are so many that I have made love me. You are just a little human. No offense. It just is, uh... Well, you're not as, um... Mentally, uh... How do I say this without being offensive? You're not known for being cold. You're known to love and crave attention. You long for a love like no other. Companionship. At the very least, you crave friendship. You can't handle being alone. It is the worst fate for humans. <laughs> Why are you letting me get so close to you? If you're saying you can resist me so much. Could it be that you're falling in love so quickly? Can you feel your heart beating? I can hear it from here. Bubba. 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 It's cute. It's racing. There's only a couple reasons why a human's heart races. And I can see your pupils dilating. Your face starting to turn a shade of pink and then red. Do you like when I play with your hair like this? Does it soothe you? All right. Hmm. Perhaps you are stronger than I anticipated. Oh no, I'm not offended. The fact that you are willing and able to resist that move, that just makes me more interested in you. <laughs> Again, I've made all sorts of people fall in love with me. Every trick works. The fact that that one didn't is very, very interesting. Hmm. How about a wager? Well, you see, I've been so bored recently. There's been nothing entertaining me in the underworld. And everyone has been so easy to fall in love with me. It's getting boring. You, however, you seem like something fun. A wager, a deal, whatever you want to call it. Well, here's the terms and conditions. Mm -hmm. We'll see if I can make you fall in love with me. Well, I know I do that already, but it's more fun if it's a deal. A game. I'll live with you, and I'll pretend to be your snuggly little roommate. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. No one will question why I'm there. You know, magic and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. 
Or, if you're more comfortable, I'll be the girl next door. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to be putting on a human disguise. Mm-hmm. You see, I can tell that there are others in your life that are quite interested in you. <laughs> Perhaps you went on this date just to make them jealous. I don't know, and quite frankly, if you are wanting to belong to someone else, that just makes it more fun for me. So what do you say? I'll either be your roommate or the girl next door. Then I'll try to win your heart over in my little human disguise. <laughs> oh. And what do you want? <laughs> you think that you can make me fall in love with you? You really are bold, human. I love it. So not only will I have to deal with rivals trying to steal you away, but I'll have to deal with you trying to pull moves on me as well. Oh, this is the most fun I've had in centuries. Thank you, human. Oh, I can't tell you how grateful I am to you. Should there be a time limit? I work better under pressure anyway. Three years. Three years we'll have to make each other fall in love. And if someone else wins your heart, I lose. And if you make me... <laughs> sorry, I can't help but laugh. If you make me fall in love with you, then I also lose. However, if your heart starts beating for me, then I win. If I can get a confession out of you, then I win. Of course, if you get a confession out of me, you win. But don't get your hopes up. That won't happen. Mm, how about I move in? Right now, of course. As soon as you sign that paper, our deal began. <laughs> you didn't even read what you'd win. You must be very desperate, human. Either that or very annoyed. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, I do adore little humans. Oh. Anyways, I should get going. I have a couple of uh, loose ends I need to tie up. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to do anything. If you actually read the contract, there's only very limited situations I can use. Physical things to get what I want. I have to make it hard on myself. If I don't, this will be way too easy. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. I'm expecting within a year you'll fall head over heels. Oh, <laughs> you better start reading that contract. <laughs> you humans, always signing stuff before you read the fine print. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> we can go over the details later. Well, of course. I can make a contract in my head just like that. Terms, conditions, winnings, prizes. I've been doing this for a while, you know. And you're lucky. I haven't made a deal with someone in, well again, centuries. You should really feel honored right now. Someone like me going after someone like you. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. I have to do research on my rivals. 
Here, let me into your heart for just a sec. Ah, I see. Three rivals. One of your co-workers, a childhood best friend, and... Oh, how interesting. <laughs> no, I'm not mad. Why ever would I be mad? This is all fun for me, you know. And I really, really need to thank you. A proper thank you. Hmm? What do you mean I'm getting too close? All I'm doing is giving you a thank you. See? A simple kiss on the cheek. I wouldn't kiss your lips without your permission. <laughs> oh, don't even try to bother wiping the lipstick off. It's not going to work. <laughs> your little friend is going to see that and know that you've been on a date. <laughs> of course I did. Everything I do is calculated. But, that was an honest thank you. <laughs> I don't play fair, darling. You'll find out soon enough. But it seems you've captured my attention for a bit too long. Oh yes, again, I have to get everything ready. My friends are going to be so jealous. <laughs> And, don't worry, I'll go over the contract with you tomorrow, just in case there's any underworld language you don't understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ta-ta now. Have a good night, cutie. Mwah. That must be the human chosen by the Grandmaster. That maid is so lucky to be chosen to be with them, isn't she? Mm -hmm. expecting to see you here so early. Are you here to see my master? No. Hmm. Oh, I see. You're here for me. How strange. That has never happened before. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I simply wasn't expecting my master to want me to be with someone so early on in my lifespan. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. I'm mature. Just usually the Grand Master makes all of us wait a couple thousand years after we have matured in order to uh, repopulate. <laughs> but, if I am given a gift such as you this early on, I am not complaining. Yes, you did match with the Grand Master. Such an honor. But, the Grand Master has given you a gift as well. Me. You see, the Grand Master made my species. We willingly choose to follow them. <laughs> no, no. It's not like the night gods. Our grandmaster gives us a choice. For I am a subspecies. Yes. <laughs> the old grandmaster. The one that created my... My long since extinct brethren has been overthrown, and in its place, 
our grandmaster was made, and then so graciously created us. We are still servants, of course, still maids, but we have a choice. I can only hope that the night gods, sooner or later, will gain the sentience that we have. But enough about the sad stuff. Today is a gift. A wonderful, glorious gift. I have been given to you. And you to me. I must pray to the Grand Master later. Oh, you would like her as well. Shh. No, not yet. You cannot meet her yet. We will have to have children before you can. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. Magic is beautiful, darling. We don't even need to lie together for me to have your children. Though I assume that you'd want the other aspects of marriage as well. Well, of course we're getting married. You must not reject the Grand Master's gift. Doing so, I will have to resort to other, other methods, methods of getting, getting, you, to getting you to cooperate. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? Oh, I am so glad you agree. It makes it easier on the both of us. It really does. <laughs> so, how about tomorrow? Don't worry, we can invite your family and friends. It'll be a nice wedding. I'm sure the Grand Master already has it planned out. Of course, afterwards, if you want to do a traditional human wedding, I'm sure we can arrange that as well. But for now, the Grand Master decrees that we must celebrate our union as soon as we can. Oh no, we don't have to rush into anything. Only our union. Mm-hmm. The sooner that everyone knows that you are mine now, the better off the world will be. You are mine, and I yours. It'll be great for our kingdom, for the Grand Master's plan, if a human and me get together. If you want, we can even take it slow. Go on a couple of dates first, get to know each other, and then eventually go on to the other stages. I've heard that's the more organic way. Humans like to do it. Well, yes, tomorrow we will be unionized, and then our souls and, well, my essence and your soul connected and bonded for life. But it's not all that bad. We can still go on a coffee date, and if you'd prefer, I can act as though we aren't unionized. Make it as... Normal, as I possibly can. What if we don't like each other? <laughs> you are a funny one, human. The Grand Master is never wrong. If she put us together, it means that we have a connection already. Did you know monsters have that? Yes, once we are born, a connection is made. We just haven't met that connection yet. Ah, I see. You have no magic in you, do you, human? Oh, that's all right. I don't crave magic anyway. It's not how I get my energy. Besides, <laughs> now that I know that you don't have magic, 
That means I can take care of you. Yes, my darling, it means I can take care of you. I can take care of you and spoil you with my affections, and I get to protect you. The Grandmaster has really given me the perfect gift. Someone to protect. Someone to adore. Oh, it is my species. Every desire to have someone like that. Ah, to you humans it might sound a little bit strange. But I was born as a maid. No, not like my predecessor. I'm more of a guard maid. A bodyguard maid. <laughs> yes, that's it. I can cook, clean, and take bullets for people. I can take several scratches from those alley cats as I get your groceries. And while I wash your back in the bath, I can deflect any arrows that might come into our home. Isn't that wonderful? You can be protected at all times, and have someone to do things for you. Oh, to be loved and protected is every human's dream, is it not? <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be fine. And I can tell you're going to be happy. Even if you yourself don't know it yet. So cheer up. You'll never have to be lonely again. All those lonely, sleepless nights will be over. I'll be here for you. Again and again and again. I can take care of you. And my many eyes will be watching out for you making sure no one is going to hurt you. <laughs> I'm sure that our children will look quite adorable, won't they? I'll make sure they have your eyes. Because I like your eyes. They're a beautiful color. I can't stop staring at them. <laughs> they look a little bit tired. Oh, you poor thing. You must have come all this way. I can't imagine. <laughs> must be a shock, though. To come in thinking it's going to be a simple date. And then realizing you're going to get married. Or <laughs> unionized. With someone you just met. But as I have said... I will make this comfortable for you. Anything you want after this, I can give you. So long as it doesn't interfere with Grandmaster's plan, that is. Tomorrow, we will unionize. And then, everything will be fine. Your life won't change that much. You'll just be bound with me for eternity. It's not that big of a life change. And you'll have me beside you. All the time. Making sure you're safe and adored. That every one of your needs is met. It is a perfect life for a human, no? So please, my turtle dove. Don't worry those tired little eyes anymore. You are fine. You are safe, and you are going to be so loved. <laughs> Is it all right if I kiss your cheek? Just your cheek. We don't have to rush into real kissing anytime soon. I just want to give you a kiss goodnight. I want to prove to you that I care about you. And that I'm not going to try and rush into things. <laughs> Even though, yes, we will have to have children. That is why we were paired together after all. 
but I'm not going to force it on you. We can take as long as you need. Thank you, Turtletown. There we are. See? That wasn't so bad now, was it? <laughs> You need not talk anymore. Here, I'll show you to a guest room. There you can rest and close your eyes. Mm-hmm. I'll be up in the morning to wake you and help you get ready for our ceremony. There'll be no pain, I assure you. It's just a little strange. Perhaps if we're lucky, the Grandmaster herself will arrive. I know I said you wouldn't see her until, well, I have completed the job assigned to me, but maybe we'll be lucky. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, please don't try and escape. You don't seem like the type, and quite frankly, you seem a little bit more eager to do this than I thought you would be. But just in case those little thoughts come inside your head, run away. You can escape. Do you really want to do this? Please be reminded that I, I will, will find, find you, you and, bring and bring you back, 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 back to where to you where belong. You to me. And it won't be pretty afterwards. I want this to be loving. And I want us to have an organic relationship. I want to be able to make you feel comfortable in this. As much as you can be anyway. <sighs> so please, rest up tonight, okay? Here, I'll even duck you in. There we are. <laughs> you look so cute. Now, I have a couple preparations to do. I'll be seeing you. Remember, I have eyes everywhere. <laughs> Good night. Hmm. And what do we have here? Such an interesting lover. <laughs> We're going to have fun with this one. I just know it. Suit yourself. They look fragile. One wrong move and... <laughs> Excuse them. Let's introduce ourselves. As you can already tell, I am a creature, not of your world. <laughs> but you could tell already, couldn't you? I mean, a creature with three heads. Such a strange occurrence. I'm a very rare monster. Part lion, part goat. In part snake. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't be confused. We are all still one entity. Just with different personalities. And as you heard, different voices as well. We all have the same body. Same mind. Same knowledge. If... That makes sense. It does sense to them. I doubt their feeble human brain can even comprehend this situation. No, no. Don't say that. I'm sure they can understand if we give them time. Humans can be very clever if they're given the opportunity to learn. Speaking of learning, I do so enjoy learning more about humans. 
They're so interesting. Such short lives, yet so much they do. They're kind of like bees. But bees are productive. Ahem. You too? Sorry about that. <laughs> As you can tell, some of us are more friendly than others. I'll cut to the chase. We are destined to be soulmates. But I'm guessing you knew that already. Oh, yes. They must have known. Look at them. They had their bags packed and everything. They're planning to stay with us. I'm going to love them being here. Oh, how sweet of them. And as I was saying... You will be staying here with us. However, you will have to win us over. Think of it as a trial of some sort. Good luck. <laughs> Do not worry. Some, obviously, will be easier to win over than others. <sighs> Though, it seems our goat side has already taken a liking to you. <laughs> Our snake side, however, seems a bit apprehensive. Yes. Since we are all one person, you can't truly have one-on-one -on -one time per se, but I can grant you talking time. We will stay silent as you learn about us and talk to each of us individually. Learn about what we like. Make a good first impression. We may be soulmates, but if you fail this trial, I will not allow you to get near us. No pressure. <sighs> you always act so tough, but inside, I know you're a softie. Drop the Sundari act already. <sighs> all right, all right. <sighs> Let's get started with our goat side, shall we? <laughs> she seems to like you. We can work you up to our more hardened snake side. Does that sound good? Oh, <laughs> how wonderful. I'm glad you're starting with me. I've been just craving to see you. Oh, how rude of me. Fagin is our name. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier. And yours? Ah, what a lovely name. <laughs> and can I say, I'm so happy you read the terms of service on that app. <laughs> My friends told me about their human lovers. They didn't read it. Boy, were they surprised. That whole soulmate thing is really cool, isn't it? One match, and you're set for life. How wonderful is that? <laughs> and, furthermore, I'm glad that you understood that when we texted you, we truly did mean we wanted you to live here. I was so worried there would be a miscommunication. <laughs> and then you didn't run away when you saw us. You wouldn't believe how many humans see us and then run, run, run. How rude, right? Like, little human, all I want is to hug you and tell you how cute you are. <laughs> I know in the past my ancestors haven't been the, well, kindest, but I assure you I'm very different than they are. I've always wondered about humanity. There's so many interesting things you do. <laughs> like hobbies. What are your hobbies? Hmm? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Humans can find joy in such the tiniest of things. I heard that humans even create entertainment. Yes, little 
flashing lights. Yes, in a strange box. <laughs> and then, sometimes the strange box connects to another strange box. Mm-hmm. And then they put this weird circular thing in and they start to play, knowing that another human created that. It's just amazing. Well, what I'm really shocked at is that you categorize things by age. Yeah. You humans live such short lives, yet you organize everything by age. Why is that? Hmm? Hmm. Still so... Strange. Humanity isn't born with the knowledge of their elders? What? You can't even lift your own head when you're born? When I was born, I was fully able to lift boulders. <sighs> There's still so much I want to ask. But I can feel the others growing impatient. Besides, oh well... We have all of eternity to learn about each other. I'll talk to you soon, cutie. Ah, I suppose it is my turn. As I said before, my name is Vagan. <laughs> I'm the lion side of us. Obviously. I have to say, I would have never imagined fate would bring me a human lover. Oh no. <laughs> Do not get me wrong. I am not opposed to the idea. As long as you don't break certain rules, that is. <laughs> of course you have rules. Every relationship has boundaries. No. Oh. <laughs> My rules are simple. They're not too harsh. But you must follow them. Not like you really have a choice anyway, but I'll tell you them so you don't accidentally break them. How about that? I assure you they are fair. <laughs> well, obviously, you have to stay loyal to us. I can't have my future love going around with other monsters or humans. <laughs> no. I have no reason to get jealous. I trust you for now. So don't give me a reason to get jealous. I say that because some of you humans tend to enjoy seeing the reactions of your lovers getting green with envy. And while I personally don't have any offense to them, you are not allowed to do that. <laughs> because I can assure you, you won't have any fun if you choose that route. So please, for your sake and for mine, just stay loyal. Secondly, don't go poking around. You humans are so curious, and honestly, I find that so endearing, but... We haven't really human-proofed our castle yet. Oh no, it's nothing against you. It's just... Well, again, our ancestors were... Kind of... Not nice. They have traps and spiky things all around here. It's enough to lure humans like you into a trap. And I really don't want to see you hurt. It would be horrible. And while I love nursing people back to health, I'd rather you just stay healthy. And in one piece. We weren't expecting you to come so soon. <laughs> Otherwise it would have already been done by now. Which 
brings me to the third rule. Please stay by my side. It's just too dangerous for you to be scamping around all willy-nilly. And this is temporary, don't worry. I just want you to be safe. Call it protective instincts or whatever, but... I just... Seeing you hurt, or even the notion of you being hurt, makes my stomach all queasy. <laughs> and once we get married and we fully human-proof the castle, you can roam freely. No one will bother you then. I'm sure of it. But until then, please just stay by my side. It'll be much safer for you. We can try to rush the human proofing if it really matters that much to you to have your own autonomy. Hmm? <laughs> Wait. You weren't planning on leaving my side anyway? How strange of you, human. But I like it. But it seems like our little snake friend... Wants to figure you out a little bit more. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll talk again very soon. So, it's finally my turn to inspect our new love. You're our first love, you know. That means you need to be special. That means... I need to know you can be trusted. I can't have my heart being broken by you, you know. I can't trust just anyone. Especially a dodgy app that claims a human is my soulmate. We all know humans can be tricksters. I've seen and had plenty of stories in my time. So, I guess it's time for you to prove it. Prove you care about me. If you can, that is. <laughs> Flowers. Such a cheap way to show me you care. Huh? Hey! Don't take those away from me. I will take them. Not because I want to keep them or like them, but because it would be a waste if they weren't put in some water on the table over there. It would be a nice addition. That's all. <laughs> How dare you? I'm not being defensive because I'm afraid of my own feelings. How dare you assume such a thing? Now prove it. Prove that you care about me. Huh? What are you? You kissed me. <clears throat> Fine, I accept you, but not because I'm totally in love with you, but because it seems that the others love you. That's all. I'm finished here. You win. Ah, congratulations. <laughs> it seems you've been accepted by all of us. You passed the trial. You're a special human because you could do that. <laughs> oh, you look ever so tired. Perhaps it's from coming over to the kingdom. I bet it was a long while. Mm -hmm. Did you have to walk? Ah, oh, the carriage picked you up. How sweet of them. Oh, but your eyes are so droopy. Here, let us take you to the bedroom. 
You can unpack your things, and then we can cuddle. <laughs> you deserve it, don't you think? A nice long rest, and a good cuddling session. <laughs> Come along now. Ah, oh, so you made it. I was worried that the haunted forest would deter you. <laughs> well, aren't you adorable? Come, sit down. Ah, oh, don't mind the cauldron. Just brewing up a couple of potions. Oh no, not for me. For my clients. Yes. I have to make a living some way. <laughs> Potions are my forte, but they pay the bills. But I'm curious about you. How did you pass the haunted forest? You must be very brave. And that bravery should be rewarded, don't you think? Hmm. I see. <laughs> they tend to leave you alone. How strange. So the ghosts just... avoid you. Please, can I look at something? Ah, I knew it. No, no. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. You're just... special. Well, I'm human and you're human. I'm just a little bit more... advanced than you are. Magic imbued. At least, that's what the scholars call it. <laughs> yes. But you, my friend... You have some, too. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> That's still something to be very proud of. Not everyone can be a wizard or a mage like myself. But that's why they left you alone. Because you have magic within you. A light that shines through the darkness. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't consider myself lawful, no. Well, I'm morally gray. I do what benefits me. And my loved ones, of course. <laughs> no, no. I'm a fair seller. I wouldn't customers, if that's what you're implying. If I did, I wouldn't get any more business. Morally gray because I create potions that most others wouldn't dare to touch. Dark magic, they say. Although it's not quite that dark. I don't know why so many are afraid of it. It makes no sense, that's why. All these... White wizards and witches. So afraid to get their hands dirty. And yet all I hear is them complaining about their lives. You have the ability to change it. And yet they don't. And yet, they still complain. It's tiresome. Now I understand the ethics and morals about love potions and... Well, anything that makes another person have to, well, lose their free will. That I understand. And I don't do those often. Only on special occasions. And if their pockets are deep enough to buy me out. <laughs> but those are very rare occasions. I like getting my hands dirty, but not that dirty. A potion to make someone so strong that they become a hero. That's easy. 
<laughs> yes, that is considered dark magic. Because they didn't earn it themselves, or something like that. Or a potion to enhance one's abilities. In anything, really. Again, it's because they didn't earn it themselves. <laughs> well, the temporary ones are considered good magic because it's only a temporary boost. The ones I make are permanent. Yes, permanent enhancements. You'll permanently be strong, permanently be smart, be good-looking, anything your hearts desire. I can do, and it'll be permanent. <laughs> yes, the ones that others have been selling, they're temporary. And they're asking a hefty, hefty price for it. <laughs> it's a sham, is what it is. And they consider mine dark magic when they're making money off of someone's insecurities. <laughs> you. You went to a witch and they sold you a temporary potion? How rude of them. What insecurities could you possibly have? I find you quite interesting. Quite perfect, I might add. Oh no. <laughs> I do. Someone like me wouldn't lie about that. You're wonderful. I knew it the second you walked in. When you looked into my eyes, I felt our souls connect. And I just knew you're perfect. And you're amazing. You're everything I'm missing. <laughs> but enough about that. What insecurities do you have? Because I am more than willing to disprove every single one of them. Your nose fits perfectly on your face. It's perfectly proportionate. Why would you ever want to change it? Your lips, too. They're perfectly kissable. May I? <laughs> See? <laughs> A pretty lady like myself kissing someone. That's not common, is it? So you know I must be telling the truth, don't you? Or maybe I should kiss you again? Would that prove it to you? <laughs> So cute. So are you feeling better? <laughs> Good. There's that beautiful smile. I want to see that for the rest of my days. <laughs> Shh. There's nothing for you to be worried about anymore. You're safe with me. The haunted forest is much more active at night anyway. So you should probably stay here with me. <laughs> I'll keep you safe. Can't you see I'm interested in you? That I want to spend more time with you? Perhaps I even want to be with you. <laughs> Maybe one day be your wife. I've been looking for someone like you. Matter of fact, earlier today, I cast a spell. 
And yes, to make the one that would be my soulmate come to me. I've been so lonely out here. So, so lonely. But now I have you. <laughs> Clients coming in and out, and I have some friends, but having someone to spend eternity with, that's something special. <laughs> So how about it, now that you know the truth, now that you know why you were compelled to come here, what do you say? Do you want to stay with me, build our life together, be happy? We can always visit your friends and family if you so desire. <laughs> With me by your side, the haunted forest is, well, it's more like a forest. You won't even see a ghost. I'm quite powerful. Then you can see them, and afterwards we can go back to the house. This could be your home. And you could be with me. I know we just met, but my spells never pack fire. And I know you feel it too. Somewhere, deep inside, your very essence. Your heart is pounding. Your cheeks are flushing. You know it. You know you belong with me, and I belong with you. How I've longed for the day I could rest in your arms, and then you rest in mine. Someone I can spend my days with. Someone I can dote on. Someone I can adore. Someone. I can care about fully. <laughs> I'll pamper you. I'll make sure that you're never sad again. And if you are sad, by some weird chance of fate, I'll be there to comfort you. So you won't be sad for long. Everything can be perfect. All you have to do is say yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, my dearest. I'm so happy you agreed. I was worried I was going to have to Resort to other measures. Oh no, I'd never hurt you. Not a hair would be out of place. I care about you too much for that. Hmm. But there is other ways to make you stay. Ways that we now can avoid. And... Let's not talk about them. Oh, I don't want to get you all worried, that's all. <laughs> After all, you said yes. So now you're here with me. Forever. <sighs> I'll be a loving girlfriend. And one day, your wife. I can assure you, you'll be very... Very happy here. <laughs> you look a little hungry. How about you eat, hmm? <laughs> Lucky for you, I was about to cook dinner. How about this meal? 
Oh, it's your favorite. What a coincidence. <laughs> I'll make it for you then. You just sit tight and relax. It's not like you could go anywhere anyway now. <laughs> oh, nothing. I'm just so happy I have you. Now go on. Close those eyes. While I go make dinner. I'll be right back. And who are you? I've never seen you on this farm before. You want to see her? Forget it. Now, now, Francis. Is there any way to treat a guest? Especially someone as cute as them. Fine. You have fun <laughs> then. So, cutie. What are you doing here? With the way you're dressed? You're far from home, ain't you? In the city? <laughs> And what's a city person like you doing in a place like this? Dating app? Are you talking about that one? Are you my match? Why didn't you just say so? <laughs> Come, sit down with me. Well, <laughs> we're known for our Southern hospitality. Don't mind Frances. She's not very, uh, welcoming to newcomers. <laughs> There's a werewolf going around, terrorizing our little flock of sheep. Oh no, they're fine. They just get spooked. <laughs> Trust me, I ain't gonna let anything happen to those little ones. <laughs> they say I'm protective in my nature, but why wouldn't I be? I like to protect cute things. <laughs> Speaking of which, you came all this way to see little old me. <laughs> did you see anything scary? Oh, did you? Poor sweetie, come here. Coming all this way just to be spooked by some scary werewolf. Now that won't do, now will it? Everything's alright, darling. <laughs> Cute thing like you needs to be protected, huh? So what I'm saying is, can I have the honor of protecting you while you stay here? I was hoping you'd stay at least a week. A week of my protection. <laughs> it's rare I ever give anyone my protection. Besides my sheep. So why don't you accept this offer? I promise you, you won't regret it. Well, see, <laughs> here you are right in my lap. You look so cute. Oh no, you ain't tiny. That's not what I'm trying to imply. I'm saying, you're cute. Your eyes, your ears, the little smile you have, the way your cheeks flush when I talk. That's cute. And the way you just obediently sat on my lap. That way I can play with your hair. Calm you down. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> I can see goosebumps. All up your arms. How cute. <laughs> oh, darling, I can tell I'm gonna have fun with you. Maybe a week won't be enough, huh? Oh, no, don't mind me. Just getting a little overprotective like I normally do. Why don't you ask a couple questions? Maybe it can get my mind off of 
protecting you so much. You're confused why I'm the one protecting the sheep? Oh, darling. Yes, usually it's a shepherd's dog and stuff like that, but they also have their own farms to attend to. And our sheep, poor little babies, they get really nervous around dogs. So I, the mothering, nurturing woman I am, took over. <laughs> Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady her age? But if you're asking if I have a kid, well, I do. But she's all grown up now. <laughs> all independent. She runs her own farm now. I'm so proud of her. I do want another child, though. I miss holding a baby, taking care of them, with a partner by my side, perhaps. Mm. <laughs> I sure hope you'd be the one. Oh, don't worry, honey. Magic allows us monster girls to have children with whomever we so choose to. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Poor humans. Y'all don't have that kind of magic. Some of you do, but it's hardly ever reached their potential. <laughs> no, it's all right. You don't have to be magic for me to love you. I love you just the way you are. And I know it's strange for me to be dropping the ill word so soon. But monsters, we have a connection. I'm sure you've heard the stories before. You haven't. Oh, my human, my little darling, you've been sheltered, haven't you? Well, we monsters, we have a soul connection. It's strange, I know. Open your mind a bit. It's like that one red string theory. Yes, the one you humans made up. Well, it's not actually that made up. Well, there's not a literal red string, but more of a feeling. A feeling of a red string. No monster has ever been wrong. Though... Some have tried to fight it. Back in the day, monsters and humans, we weren't so friendly. And I'm glad we are now. <laughs> so you see, I'm feeling that connection with you. I figured it's just better to get that out of the water. <laughs> well... It'd be kind of confusing for me to be so lovey-dovey to you. Might scare you off. So if I explain why I'm so lovey-dovey, and that we were meant to be, then my goodness, maybe you'll stay a little bit longer than a week. I know simple farm work isn't for everyone, but I'm sure we can work something out. <laughs> Darling, believe me when I say, I'd do anything for you. <laughs> so please, don't worry. I have farm hands to help me with the work. I won't make you get your hands dirty. Unless you want to help work. Then I could give you a reward at the end of the day. <laughs> You know what I mean. Don't act cold, my little cutie. <laughs> so what do you say? You'll stay for a week and then at the end maybe you could move in. <laughs> I'd love to start a life with you. Oh, don't worry. My farm does very well. You won't have to worry about money. Matter of fact, 
I could spoil you with any riches you want. And we could take visits to the city. <laughs> I'm not one of those types. You know, the ones that judge you just because we're from different areas. No, I actually find that a lot more interesting. <laughs> you could teach me all about living in the city. <laughs> there is one good benefit of living in the country. <laughs> There's not many prying eyes. So when we're alone, we can have a lot of fun together without worry of a getting caught. <laughs> My, my, you get all red. It's so cute. Oh, my darling. Dare I say, you're redder than a ripe strawberry right now. <laughs> but why else would you come all this way? We are soulmates, you know. That's what that app said, huh? To thank you come all this way for me. Makes my heart flutter. I should take you around the farm, though. To introduce you to everyone. You've already met Frances. She's a younger cow. Uh, she's not going to be too friendly to you, but don't mind her. She's an apprentice of mine. <laughs> then I'll have to introduce you to the sheep. And the other monster girls on this farm. Oh, <laughs> the reason I'm doing that? Oh, I gotta show everyone what's mine. Oh, I don't want them trying to get too close to you. Not that I'd allow that to happen anyway, but just in case one of those ladies tries and tempt you away, they'll know what's coming to them afterward. I'm just saying, I gotta make sure that they all know you're mine, and mine alone. It's perfectly fine, don't worry. I doubt they'd do anything. Hmm. Are you still worried about that werewolf going around? Oh, sweetie, you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> Werewolves seem a little bit more ferocious than they let on to be. Poor thing is probably just looking for a meal. I was hoping if I could catch the werewolf, I could maybe offer her a complimentary dinner. Oh, I'm not rude. I can only imagine what it's like out there. Alone. No house, living amongst the horrible, horrible conditions of nature. Some prefer it, but if this one preferred it so much, why does she keep coming back here, knowing the danger? <laughs> I'm a protector, yes, but I protect everyone, if I can. There's been some situations where I've had to get more aggressive. <laughs> but if you're here, maybe things will work out good. Who knows what the future may hold. All I know is, I want to hold you right now. Oh dear, looks like it's gonna rain. Oh no, don't worry, sweetheart. There's no leaks in my roof. We should probably get inside. It's been lovely talking to you out here on my patio, but if we get rained on, <laughs> it won't be that nice now, will it? Although, if we do get rained on, I could always run you a warm bath. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll stop teasing. I just can't help it. 
Your cute face when it's all red. <laughs> now come. How about I carry you inside, hmm? Would you like that? No, oh, good. I don't want to let you go all day. <laughs> Here. I'll even show you around my house, hmm? However, I must say, because you came on such a short notice, I don't have a guest bedroom made up. No, I think that where you'll be staying, you won't mind very much. <laughs> now, let's get you some grub, huh? <laughs> you look awfully hungry. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, um, it's me, Vikra. Were you expecting someone else? You look kind of shocked to see me. Uh, I knew it. I'll just go. <laughs> no, it's alright. I know a half-orc isn't really... Accepted around here, and I'm kind of used to this reaction, so... Huh? You want me to stay? Are you sure? I mean, I don't mind if you really have no interest in me. Again, I'm a half-orc. It's kind of expected. <laughs> my mother was an orc, my father a human not accepted by anyone. Mother left. Father, you know, having to raise me, not very happy about it. Well, humans think I'm dumb, and orcs think I'm too small and too smart. Doesn't really fit in anywhere. <laughs> you were in awe of me? Really? I have a hard time believing that. You were shocked because you... didn't think I would show? And that I'd be so... beautiful? Um... Are you paid to be doing this? I can assure you, no money is worth it. <laughs> no? You... Really like that I'm tall and muscular? You realize I have a six pack, right? <laughs> you like that? All right. <laughs> you are a little bit tinier than me. All right, you're quite a bit tinier than me, but um, you are okay with the size difference? Okay, <laughs> awesome. Uh, my tusks, you know, <laughs> that's gonna be a little bit of an issue as well. You like them? You don't think they'll get in the way of anything? <laughs> they'll be an adventure. All right. <laughs> and my green skin. Obviously. You don't mind that either. Alright. You are a strange human, and I appreciate that. Again, when most people see me, they either think I'm a dumb orc, or they run away screaming. <laughs> and heaven forbid I see another full-blooded orc. Uh, they generally call me puny, weak, and then try to scare me off. I've learned to fight a couple of, uh, bigger enemies because of that. I am quite strong. I mean, I could lift you right now, and I don't think you'd weigh more than a feather to me. Want to try it? All right. Yeah. <laughs> one arm. I can lift you with one arm. And you are not heavy in the slightest. 
It's like, again, like a feather. <laughs> you are really enjoying this. <laughs> Muscle mommy? Is that what you just called me? <laughs> no, I'm not offended. That is the most <laughs> sweet thing I think I've ever heard. So you... You really do like this. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> that doesn't mean you can start feeling up my biceps. <laughs> you must really like them, huh? I tried to wear a nice little dress for you. Yeah, it doesn't really hide how uh, buff I am, though. You don't want me to hide that I'm buff? Well, I figured that. Um, yeah, I can always change if you'd like. That way you can see all of my muscles. <laughs> Whoa, you are foaming at the mouth. I have never seen anyone react this way to me. <laughs> I'm flattered, confused, and happy. <laughs> you don't think I'm dumb, either. Well, that's good. <laughs> Most humans think I'm beneath them. You don't. <laughs> you want to treat me like a goddess? You know what? That'd be a nice change of pace. Though, I will say, I do enjoy conversations as well. I want to get to know you. And you'd get to know me. I understand that the physical aspect is obviously very enticing to you. But I don't want you to think that uh, I have no personality, that, uh... <laughs> What's the other bad things people say about me? Uh, so, you want to know? <laughs> yes, obviously you like my physical appearance. Let's see if you like my personality as well. Actually, I'm a wrestler. Well, there's very few jobs you can get when you're half-orc, but... Being a little bit of a pro fighter, that's one of them. Oh, yes. Trust me, it is very easy for me. Have you ever heard of the Mask Tusk? <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> I haven't lost a fight. Nope. <laughs> I'm the champion for a reason. No one has been able to beat me. Honestly, it's getting a little boring, but it pays the bills. I have a trainer that I work with. Yes, <laughs> don't worry. She's very kind. And not very interested in half-orcs. <laughs> um, they're married already. <laughs> There's no need to get jealous. Oh, you're so cute. Um, but yeah, I pro-wrestle. So I will be training a lot. I have to keep in shape. <laughs> yes, if you want, you can watch me train. And at home, I like to garden. I know, a stark contrast. But again, I wrestle because I need the money. Gardening is more of my passion. I love flowers. All sorts of arrangements. Did you know flowers have their own language? Amazing, right? Roses, of course, mean love, but different colors of roses mean different things. Red roses are fiery, passionate love. More on the lustful perspective on things, but a pink rose is pure love. An innocent, more first love kind of thing. A love that you only receive once in a lifetime, they say. <laughs> and of course, black roses mean death, or an equivalent of that. 
Personally, I think they're beautiful, but the meaning of them, you don't want to send it to someone you like. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you have white roses. Oh, white roses are beautiful as well. I say that a lot. I think all flowers are beautiful. Even those, like, carnivorous ones. I especially find those quite intriguing. White roses, though, back to the subject, are purity. Yes, <laughs> just purity. Good, wholesome. It's great. Yes, weddings, um, giving it to a friend. Even though yellow works better for that, white works too. The hospital, that kind of thing, wishing people good luck. Um, oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm. I started rambling. <laughs> Probably boring you. Oh, you. <laughs> you like when I talk about my. <laughs> wow, so you really are the real deal. I mean, I thought maybe I felt something. My mother, before she left, told me that all monsters have a connection. Since I'm half human, I really don't. I'm not as connected to the connection as most. But I swore when I saw you, I felt my heart flutter. And even though I was afraid, I was so afraid that you'd take one look at me and run off. You didn't, and now I'm thinking maybe that feeling was right. Maybe this is more than just a little flirty experience. Maybe the app was right. Maybe we are soulmates. <laughs> I'd like to know. And I'd like to know more about you as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do have to get going soon. <laughs> no, it's not because I don't enjoy this date. I'm thoroughly enjoying my time with you. <laughs> I'm just saying that... I have a match tomorrow. Yes, and even though I always win, it's best to, you know, get eight hours of sleep, train, eat right, all of that stuff. But now I think I have something that will encourage me during my fighting. Again, for the longest time, I've just been bored, doing all the moves that I know will win, analytical stuff, but... Now I have something worth fighting for. <laughs> and it would be my honor if you'd come watch me fight tomorrow. <laughs> yes. You can get front row seats if you'd like. It's my treat. And after I win, because I will definitely win, especially now that I have you, how about we celebrate after? Go on another date, but this time, a little bit more happy. My walls are slowly breaking down, and I can't guarantee that my walls are fully broken at this point, but I really like you. And I want, I want this to really work. So what do you say? It's tomorrow at three. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm so glad I'll see you there. <laughs> um, is it alright if I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, so the tusks really didn't get in the way of that. <laughs> Would you like me to walk you to your car? <laughs> Trust me, no one is going to mess with me. <laughs> All right, then. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Stay safe for me, okay? I'll be awaiting your arrival. <laughs> I think... I think I really fell in love.
Well, until we meet again, after all these years of being alone, all these years of doubting myself, finally, someone who seems to care, seems to love me. Well, I should probably get ready for the match tomorrow. I don't want to disappoint them. <laughs> Not like I could anyway, but... I'll have to really show off. <laughs> oh, I'll see you tomorrow, darling. I'll make sure it's a fight worth watching. I love you. <laughs> oh, until we meet again. There's where the scent is. I wonder who's around here. <laughs> you can't be doing spells here. Don't you know this is private property? I know you're here. I can hear your heartbeat. How silly. Trying to hide from me. Found you. <laughs> Aww. You're shaking. You're like a little puppy. So small. So helpless. So scared. Hmm. Why were you here? And why are you doing spells on my territory? Don't you know that's rude? Hmm, you didn't? Hmm, I see. You're a new magic user, aren't you? Oh, that's alright. Oh no, <laughs> you aren't getting away. That's not what I was saying. I was saying that I'll let you live. <laughs> well, you are going to be essentially mine now, but, you know. <laughs> well, I'm letting you live. That's something in itself. I could punish you, and that punishment is pretty harsh, so I think this is a lot more fun. Besides, you get a hellhound out of it. Every magic user wants one, but so few get it. Of course, we won't have the traditional owner-hellhound relationship. For you won't be the owner at all. It'll be me. Mm-hmm. You see, when I saw you, and you were acting like a scared little pup, I knew you'd be so much fun to take care of. A naughty little human going onto someone's private territory to fill their own desires. You're going to be fun to watch. Fun to keep in line. Because I can tell from the way you're staring at me. You're going to try to get out of this. And I'm going to have to put you back in line. And that's my favorite thing to do. Oh, I'm not going to hurt you. If I hurt you, then you 
wouldn't be able to play anymore. And I want to play. <laughs> it's like a game of fetch. You run, I chase, and I bring you back to your new home. Ah, oh, don't worry. I'm not going to drag you down there. I love to protect things, especially my toys, but I don't like having to growl and protect them 24-7. Not like that, anyway. What I want to do is I want you to stay with me in my little humble cabin. It has electricity, so you can play your little game. You can talk on your phone. You can watch TV. There's a nice bed for you to sleep in. Food, water. You have all the entertainment you need. Everything is perfect. You really are set for life. Of course you can talk to your family. As long as you don't tell them where you are. <laughs> I'm a hellhound. You think I don't have magic abilities? I can make them forget that you told them you were in any danger. But then afterwards, you'll be treated like the naughty pup you'll be. It's best not to, um, disturb our peace. You want to be a good human, don't you? How about this? I'll even give you a little reward. <laughs> yeah. I'm not cruel. Oh, well, hmm. I can take you on walks. Yes, around the city to see your family, your friends. <laughs> Anyone you want, really. Just remember, I have magical abilities. You won't escape, no matter how hard you try. And as long as you remember that, we'll be fine. After all, you don't want to spend all this time being good and then being rewarded only to be punished afterwards. I can assure you, you won't like it. So what do you say? Will you be my good little human and come with me to the cabin? That way I can get you all settled in and you can be safe under my protection. Mm-hmm, of course. I'll have to get my smell on you. <laughs> Don't be perverted. All I have to do is cuddle with you. Then you'll smell like me. You know, I really am doing you a big favor. <laughs> if you had been on anyone else's territory, you'd be lunch. And if you go around these woods... Not smelling like me? You'll be dinner. <laughs> so, I think it's best if we go to the cabin and start snuggling, don't you? <laughs> I'm so glad you agree. Now, come. And we're here. Now. <laughs> You're so light, human. I can push you with one paw. <laughs> Look at you, laying down so helplessly. It's so cute. Now don't worry. I'm not going to do anything weird. Just get comfortable. There we are. See? Isn't it nice being in my arms? Isn't it nice being held? 
There we are. There we are. You're safe. And you're going to be protected. What an honor. What a lucky day. I have a human to protect. I have a human. And a magic human at that. Oh, how sweet. This day couldn't possibly get better. Nope. This is my favorite day. And it will be for a very long time. I've only had this territory to protect, which can lead to some very interesting things, but it's the same thing every day. Now, I have you. <laughs> I get to train you and protect you and love you and adore you. And your magic. Which means I can force you to make a pact with me. Yeah. <laughs> you see, a pact means that you'll almost be one with me. You'll be able to summon me. Oh no. <laughs> you won't have control. How silly. I mean, with some of them you can but it depends on the deal that you make. You see, I'm not dumb. No. <laughs> I'm much smarter than the rest. That's why I'm in the human world. Not every hellhound gets this opportunity. The fresh breeze, all the smells. <sighs> it's perfect up here. I fought my way to the top, and now I've been gloriously rewarded for it. Oh, how I adore you. Shh, shh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Even my worst punishment for you. It won't hurt you too badly. I couldn't hurt my prize. My prize possession. That's like getting a trophy and then denting it on purpose. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> oh, you look so tired. All oh, that scaredness must have worn you out. Oh, my tiny human. Everything's going to be all right. Shh, shh, shh. You're safe. You're safe. You're safe, I promise. Now, close your eyes. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop cuddling you. Not yet. <laughs> Just fall asleep in my arms and know that you're safe. We're going to have a wonderful life together. <laughs> After all, I'm going to be taking care of you. And I'll do a brilliant job. I know that much. So just be still and get your rest. You've had quite the jarring day, haven't you? My sweet. Sweet human. Shh. No more talking. Just fall asleep to the sounds of me cuddling you. And know I'm right here. Right beside you. Making sure no one. Making sure nothing is ever going to harm you ever again. <laughs>
Good night, my sweet human. Good night. Tomorrow, we'll have the rest of our lives to spend together. Won't it be grand? <laughs> now fall asleep. I won't talk anymore. So you can focus on rest.